The Hollyhock House was designed by American architect Frank Lloyd Wright. This was the architect's first Los Angeles project and he sought to develop a style reflecting Southern California. The house was designed for Arlene Barnsdall, an oil heiress and theatrical producer. This lush and romantic structure is filled with details that reinforce Frank Lloyd Wright's design ideas and a vision for this special house. The Hollyhock House is one of Los Angeles' greatest cultural treasures. The building is the focus of the Barnsdall Art Park and it is one among eight the right designed buildings added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. The hollyhock was Aline Barnstall's favorite flower and she wanted Frank Lloyd Wright to use the flower as an inspiration for the design of the house. Wright created an, an abstract version of the hollyhock flower and used the stylized design throughout the house. Construction of the house began in 1919 and was finished in 1921. Hollyhock House is unique in the work of Frank Lloyd Wright. It was an attempt to incorporate his ideas on architecture and create a seamless line between the interior and exterior of the house's design. The entrance features a long narrow entryway leading to two massive front doors made of concrete. The 250-pound doors were balanced on pins to open with little effort. The huge living room is centered on a beautiful monumental concrete fireplace with a bas relief. Wright believed the hearth was the home's symbolic center. The relief sculpture is beyond merely hanging a painting over the fireplace. Above the fireplace is a skylight illuminating the living room and the bas relief. In front of the fireplace is a small tile pool or moat, integrating all four classic elements, fire, water, air, and earth. The living room has many details that repeat the motif of the hollyhock in the columns, windows, and other elements of the room. Wright designed the custom furniture in the living room. The sofa and the furnishings are made of oak favored by Wright and other arts and craft designers. The Japanese screens were installed in 1925 were part of Barnsdall's personal collection. The dining room has warm wood surfaces and art glass windows. It contains a unique table with six sides. The chairs are very tall with elements that look like a backbone or spine on the back side. The dining room table and chairs were all designed by Wright himself from tropical hardwoods and reflect the hollyhock motif to complete a harmonious environment. The dining room has a series of art glass windows that are positioned low so that standing you cannot see outside. It is only when you are seated at the table that you can see outside the windows to the landscape outside. The custom art glass windows are found throughout the house and a hundred of the original windows still survive. The hollyhock motif plays out in every room of the house. The kitchen area has a modernist style and beautiful wooden cabinets. Barnsdall was a collector of art and purchased this Roman relief of three dancing nymphs in 1921. She described the relief as the thing that I love most except for my relatives and placed the marble sculpture prominently in her home. The house was arranged around a central courtyard with stairs leading up to rooftop terraces. The exterior walls at the top of the house are tapered back which gives the house the look of a Mayan temple. Friezes on the exterior walls were Frank Lloyd Wright's abstract version of the hollyhock flower. A semi-circular seating area around a pool element was also included. The hollyhock house is located on one of the Hollywood Hills, which Barnstall purchased in 1919 and planted olive trees on its slope. The hill provides a dazzling view of Los Angeles and some of its most famous landmarks. The house that Wright designed 
was a spectacular early example of California indoor-outdoor living. But Aline found the house difficult to live in. Water leaked in from the ceiling continuously, leading to damage and constant repairs. The cost of these repairs was a huge burden. At the time, Hollywood was little more than a patchwork of citrus groves and early movie studios of the nascent film industry. Realizing that she would not be able to sell the somewhat remote house, in 1927, Barnsdall donated the house to the city of Los Angeles. The city took on the responsibility of maintaining the house and the constant costly maintenance it required. In 1994, the Holly Hawk House was seriously damaged in a Northridge earthquake, which the concrete structural elements were not designed to withstand. It took more than 13 years to repair and restore the house to its original condition. With the house opening once more to the public in 2015. Restoration of the house has continued in the years since and continues into the future. In 2019, the Hollyhock House was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site as part of a collection of Frank Lloyd Wright designed buildings in the United States. It is an important example of Frank Lloyd Wright architectural work which combined indoor and outdoor living spaces. As a transitional design between his early work and his developing aesthetic, it is the first architecture in Los Angeles and America to be recognized on the UNESCO World Heritage List. To tour the Hollyhock House requires advanced tickets and timed admission. A beautiful example of modern architecture in Los Angeles and a wonderful example of one of America's most renowned designers of innovative structures. A classic destination temptation you should not miss.